I kind of look like when Ed Sheeran was like white lips pale face cuz looking a little like white lips pale face what up hooligans <laughs> ah! every time I say that I feel so awkward but at the same time my body's just telling me to say it it's Jennifer and today I am bringing you guys my long-awaited thrift flip video if you guys don't know what that is it's basically where I take clothes from the thrift store and try to remake them into newer cooler, hipper, trendier clothes. How many more adjectives do I need? If you guys watched my thrift haul, I don't know when I posted it, but it's been a while. You guys have been asking for this video for the longest time because I said I was gonna do it. And I'm finally bringing you guys it today. That was a bad, like, really bad sentence. I should go back to school. DIY clothing videos are some of my favorites, so I hope you guys enjoy. If you like this video, make sure to like it not just emotionally, and subscribe if you haven't already and you like my videos, and turn on that notification bell because, um, it, because, <laughs> it would be cool. And if you do turn it on and you comment down below, you might be featured as shout out of the week at the end of my next video. Oh, also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I love talking to you guys on there and I'm going to be traveling also, so that's the best way that you can keep up with me. Coolio, coolio. Uh, is there anything else I want to say? Oh wait, if you guys want to see more, I mean, you guys don't really know if you want to see more yet because you haven't watched the video, but let me know after you finish the video if you want to see more thrift flip videos. That's really hard to say. Let's get started! Ahoo! Alright, so the first shirt that I wanted to transform was this just plain white t-shirt. I'm sure you guys have seen these Gildan t-shirts before. Whenever I used to go volunteering, they would always use like Gildan t-shirts for those like free shirts that they would give you. Did that make any sense? I don't know. Okay, let's move on. I wanted to recreate that kind of like Brandy Melville striped shirt, but I wanted to put my own twist on it since it is Pride Month and I didn't want to just completely rip off Brandy Melville. So basically what it's- Basically what I decided to do was three little stripes of red, yellow, and blue. I laid out my white t-shirt flat on a desk, then I put a piece of like cardboard inside just so that the paint would not transfer to the other side of the shirt. I laid down three strips of painter's tape about one centimeter apart. I made sure to press down really really hard just so that the paint would not leak underneath the tape. Then I took some red fabric paint and I just painted in that little top white space. I'm using fabric paint because obviously it won't wash off when I wash it. And then I took my blue fabric paint and I painted that bottom stripe. And I, I realized when I started painting that the paint was actually metallic. Which was not my intention, but it turned out fine. But we're going with it. Okay, so I let those dry until they like dried and then after that I pulled off the painters tape and I wasn't sure if you were supposed to pull off the tape before they were dry or after they were dry but I just pulled them off after they were dry and it turned out well so it's Gucci and then after that I laid down two more pieces of painters tape so that I could have a line in between the red and blue and then I just painted in my yellow stripe with some yellow fabric paint and remember when you are painting on a shirt you want to paint away from the edge of the tape and towards the middle of the stripe that's just so that the paint won't leak underneath the tape and you won't have any messy lines once that was dry I just took off the tape and then I had my beautiful rainbow shirt and for some reason this reminds me of like Costco even though Costco Costco's colors are like not like that at all, so I don't really know why. I don't know, dude. I really don't know. I make weird associations. But that is the finished shirt, and I just tie it up at the bottom like I do for a lot of my shirts because I love exposing my muffin top. <laughs> I really don't. Okay, next up I decided to transform this white turtleneck shirt that you guys saw in my thrift haul. I was really confused about like how I should transform this because when I bought it, I was like, this is a really cool shirt. I don't have any turtlenecks. This would be cool to wear. But then I realized it's like, it kind of makes me look like a nun or a nurse. At the thrift store, I also found this giant pack of zippers and I decided it would be a good idea to just like slap on a zipper because I feel like that whole zipper down the middle of the shirt 
thing is coming back in. I could be totally wrong though, I have no idea, I'm not a fashionista. I know Michael Kors, please don't take fashion advice from me, I'm just doing my best. So basically to create the look that I had in my head, I cut down the middle of the shirt from the turtleneck and a quarter way down the front of the shirt. And then to the right and left of the cut, I just did two little horizontal cuts so that I had two long flaps that I could fold in. And then I also cut a little flap at the bottom. Then I took some fabric glue. Um, you can also use E6000 glue. You can also sew whatever your little heart desires. Basically, I ran, a, I, I, sque I squeezed a line of fabric glue down the we love a shister who can speak. Basically, I squeezed a line of fabric glue down the inside edge of one of the flaps, and then I folded it inwards, making sure that it lined up perfectly with the edge and it was all straight. And then I also did the same thing for the other side so that I had, you know, it equal. <laughs> we love equality. And then I also did the same thing to the bottom little flap. I got a burp, dude. Hold for burp. False alarm, it just went back down. So next, I took my zipper and by the freaking way, uh, I could not find a white one for the life of me. So I improvised and I wasn't sure how this was gonna turn out because I took a navy blue one with like a gold zipper and I was like, okay, this is it. Like, it's gonna look terrible in the end, but it actually turned out pretty well. So don't be afraid to, um, I'm really good at inspiration. So then I just laid my zipper on my shirt and then marked off what amount of zipper I needed and then I just cut it off. So I realized I needed to create a new stopper for the zipper since I cut the original one off. I don't know why, but I decided fabric glue would be a good idea, so I kind of just squeezed it over the bottom of the zipper. Turns out it didn't work. So I retried the whole thing with some E6000 glue and that worked a lot better, so I just ran with it. And then it was time to put the zipper inside the shirt. Initially. I wanted to sew it in by hand and this turned out to be a very bad idea because as you can see I literally cannot push the needle in for the life of me and plus even if I did manage to get it in it would have taken me like 20,000 hours so I decided to scrap that idea and I just used some E6000 glue to glue it all together so I just squeezed out a line of E6000 glue onto the edge of the zipper and then stuck it together and I did that to both sides and also the bottom. I also took a little gold ring and this was from back in the day when I thought I was a freaking fashionista and bought like 20 midi rings and I never wore them. So I just took one of them and hooked it onto the zipper and then now you have a little just decorative piece. So after I let it dry, it was completely finished and I actually like how it turned out, although I'm trying to figure out like what it makes me look like. Like I look like a rich like private school girl in New York maybe? I like play golf all the time. Oh, you know what it is? It looks like I look like a, one of those like horse racers on those Paul Ralph Lauren ads. Like I feel like they wear these kinds of shirts, you know? I really like the shirt and it's something that I don't have in my closet. I think it's a great way to branch out. All right, the last piece of clothing I wanted to transform was a super long bodycon dress. There were two ways in my mind that I could transform this. One was just to like cut it short and make it a dress and the other one was to make it a two-piece and I decided to make a two-piece because I thought it'd be more interesting not only for you guys to watch but also for me to wear because I can wear them separately and I was really excited about this one because I felt like it had a lot of potential so first I tried it on to see where I wanted to cut the shirt and where I wanted to cut the skirt and then I laid it out on the table and started to cut off the shoulder portion because I wanted to make this an off the shoulder top and when you're doing this you want to make sure you cut as close as possible to the top thankfully my shirt had stripes already so I just followed those but if you don't have stripes on your shirt you want to make sure you use like a ruler or something so that it's all straight then I cut off the bottom of the shirt where I wanted it to end and make sure when you're cutting also to leave some room for hemming and folding that kind of stuff I don't know what the proper terms are I also cut off the hems of the arms of the shirt because I wanted to re-hem it after that I just 
cut off the top of the skirt. So for the shirt, I wanted the edges to have that like lettuce hem wavy looking thing. First of all, I want to preface this by saying I haven't touched a sewing machine in like seven years since I was in like grade 8 because that's when I took textiles in school and back then I was a freaking pro but now I like I didn't know anything so I have to so okay you guys honestly don't care so in order to achieve that like lettuce hem thing you need kind of like a stretchy shirt and then for your sewing machine settings you want to put it on a pretty wide zigzag and then also a pretty big distance between stitches so what you want to do is flip the shirt inside out and then you want to flip out the edge of the shirt just so that the raw edges won't be showing. You're gonna stretch out your fabric. To start off the stitch, obviously you wanna go forwards and backwards a couple times and then basically you just start sewing your zigzag stitch, but you want one stitch to be on the shirt and then one stitch to just go off the shirt. Am I making any sense right now? You basically want the needle to like ride the middle of the shirt. And I also tested my stitch out on some scrap fabric before I did it on the real shirt, so I recommend doing that first. As you keep going, you want to remember to keep stretching out the fabric. You should be able to see your lettuce hem starting to form when it comes out of the machine. And then you want to end the stitch by obviously going forwards and backwards. I feel like this is basic knowledge if you guys know how to sew. And then there's your lettuce hem. I was freaking shooketh to the core when I saw this. So I kept doing that same stitch to all the unhemmed edges, the top of the shirt, the bottom of the shirt, and also the other arm. So after I finished all of those, if I do say so myself, I think it turned out pretty good. Okay, on to the skirt. First of all, I tried it on to see how much of the waist I needed to take in. I turned the skirt inside out, and then I used an eyeliner pencil to mark it because I, again, I'm not a professional, I'm not Michael Kors. And I went over to my sewing machine and kind of just hemmed a straight line down where I marked and it turned out pretty well. I tried it on afterwards and it fit, so I cut off all of the excess. Okay, and then I had to figure out how to sew a freaking waistband in. I, I got so confused at this point, so I searched up a bunch of YouTube tutorials. I figured it out, it kind of looks ratchet, but it works! So I measured my waist with the elastic and marked it off with a pen. Usually you would do this next part with pins, but again, not a fashionista. So instead, I had to improvise. Basically what I'm trying to do is match up which part of the skirt will hit which part of the elastic, since they weren't the same size when they weren't stretched out. I folded the elastic in half. I stretched out the top of the skirt so that it would match the width of the elastic. And then I just took my eyeliner pencil and I just marked the places where they matched up and that way when I was sewing I could see exactly where I needed to stretch so that the elastic would actually fit around the skirt. So I did that to both sides of the skirt. So I laid my elastic at the top of the skirt and the skirt is still inside out at this point. And then I just did a zigzag stitch across the top of the elastic. Obviously when you're sewing make sure to pull your skirt so that the markings actually line up. Once that was completely sewed I flipped the waistband in. And and at this point, you want to basically secure the waistband down. And to do this, you want to find the sides of the skirt because the stitches will be hidden within the sides. And then you basically just want to sew a straight line so that the waistband will not flip up when you're wearing it. So I did this on both sides of the waistband. But yeah, after that, you can flip your skirt inside out. And now you have your two-piece set. I'm obsessed with this set. I feel like it looks really, really good. And I can't believe I made this. I feel like... Calvin Klein should hire me now. They're missing out on a real fashion designer. I'm probably gonna be wearing the shirt more often just because I don't really like skirts. I do see myself wearing the two-piece set sometime in the future and I'm really excited about the set and I hope you guys try it out. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed all the transformations. I really enjoyed making this video. If you want to see more, obviously let me know. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Oh, shout out of the week is right here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!